Welcome to the ProPet channel. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Dogs are low maintenance because their coats are short and thick, making them dirt resistant. Your dog could spend the entire day playing in the yard and yet appear clean. However, debris, dead hair and body oil can accumulate inside their coat, leaving them stinky and more exposed to mites and skin disorders. Bathing them at regular intervals will eliminate accumulated body oil, dead hairs and grime, leaving them with a fresh, healthy, and lustrous coat. You'll need canine shampoo because human shampoos aren't suitable for canines. They're simply too abrasive for your dog's fur. If you want to give your dog a bath, you'll need a specific dog shampoo. While a dog conditioner is required, it will make your dog's fur softer and shinier. I will give a link in the description for some of the best dog shampoos for puppies and adult dog conditioners. Adult dogs should be bathed using a bath brush because their coats are thicker than pups. You'll also need a clean towel to wipe down your pooch and a couple of washcloths to clean your dog's face and genital area. In this video, we will look at 8 simple steps on how to bath your puppy. Let's get started. First, decide where you are going to wash the puppy. To begin, decide where you will bathe your puppy. If he's a puppy, you can use a sink or a tub, but don't forget to cover the sink with a floor mat or a towel so he doesn't slip. If he's an adult, a bathtub bathroom or even a yard can do. Step 1. Gather all the supplies you would want. To keep all the supplies within your hands, reach such as shampoo, bath brush, a couple of washcloths, and a clean towel. Step 2. Prepare your dog coat. Before getting the puppy wet, brush his entire coat, it will remove all the dead hairs, which can make it harder for the shampoo to reach the inner layer of the coat. Pay particular attention to areas where fur rubs against itself, such as behind the ears and in the armpits. Step 3. Prepare the water. The water should not be too cold or too hot, or your dog may get uncomfortable and want to flee. It should also not be too dry, as this can cause your dog's skin to dry out. Make sure the water is lukewarm. Step 4. Gradually get your puppy wet. Once everything is ready, soak the coat. Now it's time to get things in wet. Bring your puppy into the bathroom and slowly pour some water on his body, rubbing it with your fingers to allow the water to pass through his coat. Make sure his coat is thoroughly wet in the water before applying shampoo. Step 5. Gradually apply shampoo. Pour a dime's worth of shampoo into your puppy's fur slowly. Make sure you cover every inch of his or her body. His or her paws, just like the neck, need to be washed. Scrubbing an adult dog with a bath brush to disperse shampoo is highly suggested. Don't forget to give attention to every inch of the dog, including armpits, under the tail, and the crotch. By the time you're done, your puppy should resemble a cuter, smaller version of the abominable snowman. Step 6. Rinse your puppy, thoroughly washing out the shampoo suds. Start rinsing with clean water after draining the soapy water. One of the most significant aspects of the bathing experience is rinsing. You'll have to rinse your pet a few times. Pour water over your dog until there are no suds left in his fur, because any shampoo that is left behind may irritate the skin. Step 7. Time for conditioning. After you've rinsed off the shampoo, it's time to condition your dog's coat. Conditioning is optional, but it improves the hair and prevents dry skin and dandruff. Apply a generous amount of conditioner to all surfaces except his face and massage it in for 3 to 5 minutes. Step 8. Dry your pup. Wipe your dog with a clean cloth to dry it. If he's a young puppy and it's chilly outside, you can dry him with a hair dryer set to the lowest setting and kept at a safe distance to avoid skin burns. Using cotton, thoroughly dried his ears. Your dog's damp ears can lead to infection. Lastly, allow him to play in the water and enjoy his bath time. If your dog gets fleas or mites, this will make the whole procedure much smoother. To get better advice and recommendations for anti-flea shampoos, please contact your veterinarian. I hope you both have a good time bathing, and please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.